Hi! Today's lesson is about breathing. Breathing is one of the most complicated things when it comes to singing, but today we're going to make it easy and we're going to get started with some of the basics. The first thing that you need to know when it comes to breathing is when you inhale, your stomach goes out. I'm going to say that again. When you inhale, your stomach goes out out. Lots of people, if you tell them, inhale, will go <gasps> and they'll suck in like a tube of toothpaste. You want your stomach to go out. So we're going to start by getting these muscles, the external intercostals, involved. We're going to need those. Everyone talks about diaphragm, diaphragm, diaphragm. It's really about these muscles. They're going to spread your rib cage apart and allow the diaphragm to sink, which allows the lungs to expand. So we're controlling the diaphragm through these muscles, the external intercostals. They're involuntary muscles. They're only used for pooping and throwing up. I know. But they're not used to being told what to do. So today we're going to wake them up and tell them what to do. So the first exercise is going to be kicking. You're going to just start kicking your stomach. It's a pretty violent motion. Kick, 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 kick. It's almost like if you were lifting a heavy object. Huh! Like a grunt kind of before you go. So make it kick. It's really athletic and big. Get it going. Now the one thing you want to look for is you want to make sure that your shoulders are staying down. So look in the mirror. A lot of people will do the right motion with their stomach, but get their chest and their shoulders involved. We don't want our chest or shoulders involved at all. Everything below this nice little line right here is going to be moving. Everything above is going to try to stay relaxed. So the first exercise is kick. Look into a mirror. Make sure shoulders are down. Big kicks. There you go. Awesome. The second exercise to get those external intercostals going is going to be a dog pant. It's going to sound kind of silly, but it's going to help you a lot. So get started. Just do like a... And for this one, it's okay to kind of get the whole motion going because we're just waking up our body. Ready? And you can see this big motion. Now for the dog pant, my stomach is going out on the exhale, but that's okay. We're getting used to sending the stomach out in the inhale. Alright, third exercise. We're going to breathe in and expand. Breathe in, suck through a straw, push stomach out. We're going to breathe in for two and hiss out for eight. And you're going to really try to make sure that your stomach is moving, your shoulders, and your chest are staying relaxed. So if you need to, you really should look into a mirror for this because it's going to help you out. Alright, so ready? Let's put our hand right here just to remind yourself that all of the action is going to be down here. You can put the other hand right here too to make sure that you're expanding. And you can suck in through a straw. Ready? In for two. Hiss out for eight. Ready? In. Awesome. Great job. Now today we're just focusing on the inhale. But let's do that again and see if we can loop it. Hand here. Hand here. Ready? Push. And you can really hear how much air you're getting and how consistent and smooth and still powerful it is. Alright, stomach doesn't work for everybody. So remember how we talked about the ribs expanding and the diaphragm sinking? Some people get a lot of expansion through their ribs. 
So you're going to put your hands on your ribs. Now for everybody, your ribs aren't down here. They're way up here. You want to kind of really feel those high, prominent ribs. And you're going to see if when you breathe in, you can expand out. I'm not personally a rib breather. I'm more of a stomach breather. So you won't see mine go. But I'll try to represent it right here. Because a lot of people that I work with really get great results from this. So put those hands on your ribs and you're going to breathe in and try to expand the ribs. So we're going to go in for two and hiss out for eight. Ready? In. Great job. Do it one more time. Ready? In. Nice. Alright, now we're going to try to put that into singing. It's going to be a little difficult today, but we're going to wake you up. The first one, we're going to do some staccato to get that stomach moving. Ha, 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 ha. Alright, so this is to get our stomach really fired up. You want it to be short. Ready? Fire up that stomach. Get it moving. Good. Great. Now if you're a little tired, that is good. Singing is very athletic and you are really doing a nice job of firing up your stomach right there. For the second exercise, we're going to focus only on the inhale and trying to get that expansion. For this exercise, I want you to physically put your hands where you got the most expansion. So did you get the most expansion here in your stomach or a little bit more through here in the ribs? Put your hands on that spot right now for this one. And we're gonna make sure that you're inhaling with some expansion. Only focus on the inhale. Don't focus on how you sound. Although if you inhale better, lower, and more full, your tone is also going to be more full and grounded. So here we go. I'm going to put my hand on my stomach and we're going to really breathe in. I want you to breathe in for a full second before you do it. Ready? Breathe in. Down here, really push. Nice, push, push, good. One more. 